are you or your family member suffering from some form of kidney disease well hello everyone i am dr geet bajpay and i am principal consultant and unit head at max super specialty hospital dwarka so worldwide about 850 million people are affected with some form of kidney disease if we talk about india then about 1 in 10 people are affected with kidney disease and this big number becomes more scary as we talk about the elderly people so in the elderly population about 1 in 5 people who are aged more than 60 years and about 1 in 4 people who are aged more than 75 years are suffering from some form of kidney disease so what are the risk factors for development of kidney disease well diabetes hypertension obesity family history of kidney disease older age people who have history of recurrent kidney stones or recurrent urinary tract infections or people who have been suffering from heart disease or cancers or have been on medications for these conditions or people who are using long term pain killers so these are the people who can develop kidney disease so what are the symptoms of kidney disease well early kidney disease generally do not have any kind of symptoms and you will be surprised to know that you may lose 90% of a kidney function before developing any symptoms unexplained weakness lethargy nausea vomiting poor appetite swelling in the legs facial puffiness decrease in urine output can be one of the important symptoms for kidney disease also if you are noting froth in the urine that is bubbles in the urine which may signify protein loss in the urine or blood in the urine or if you are noticing decrease in urine output or frequent urination or you are getting up frequently in night to pass urine which is called as nocturia so all these symptoms are again important hallmark of kidney disease similarly excessive dry skin which is called as pruritus or itching or recurrent hiccups can also be marker of kidney disease similarly as the toxins build up with declining kidney function these toxins can affect your brain as well and you may have loss of appetite loss of smell drowsiness or in extreme conditions this can cause seizures or you may land up in coma so all these symptoms are generally considered advanced symptoms of advanced kidney disease so if you have any kind of symptoms of kidney disease or if you have any of the risk factors for development of kidney disease you should consult your nephrologist